Here we're going to have a look at aligning layers and sequencing layers in Adobe After Effects. Now these Adobe icons I have uh, created in Illustrator, brought into After Effects, but they are in a bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my line tools to tidy these up rather than clicking them and moving them around. I'm going to select all of the layers. So select the first one, hold shift, select the last one. They're all selected. If I go up to my window and down to align, I bring up the alignment tools, uh, which appear down here, and I can align them all to the center or the top. I want to align them all to the vertical center. There they are, all centered up. And uh, if the align layers is set to selection, I can say distribute them uh, in one of these ways. I'm going to choose to distribute them horizontally. So it's going to look at the first one and the last one and distribute the rest of them evenly. So I hit distribute horizontally. They're now all perfectly aligned with the same gaps in between. So I want to add a little animation onto these. I'm going to start with my uh, Lightroom icon. I'm going to press S for scale and I want it to start um, not visible. So I'm going to bring the scale down to 0%. I'm going to click the stopwatch and I'm going to go along 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 frames. I'm going to have it slightly overshoot. So go bigger than it needs to, maybe 120. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 frames, I'll bring it down to 100% the size that it should be. Okay, uh, if I um, press N on the keyboard, that marks my out point of my work area, and I can just play that back to see how that looks. All right, so that's my first icon popping up. Um, a scale animation nearly always looks better with the keyframes easy, so I'm going to select the two keyframes that I can see at the end there. I'm going to press F9, that will easy ease them. And so now if I view that whole thing back, I've now got my Lightroom icon just popping up. Now I'm gonna to want it to stay on screen for a while and then uh, I want the other icons to all pop up as well. So what I'm gonna do is select scale, press Command C to copy, make sure my current time indicator is at the beginning and I'll select all the remaining layers Command V to paste, and now they're all going to pop up, which is great if I want them all to appear at the same time, but I think it'll look much more fluid if one appears after the next. So once again, I'm going to select them top down because I want them to appear in the order that I select them. So in this order, and then I'm going to go up to animation. I'm going to go to keyframe assistant and sequence layers. Now, when you sequence layers, traditionally, like in editing software, it's going to put one layer after the next. But if I use the overlap option, I can overlap one layer over the other. And the overlap duration is really going to be dependent on how long my layers are. If I have a look down here, my layers appear to be 80 frames. So if I have them overlap for something like uh, 76 frames, that means there will be a delay of four frames. So if I hit OK, you can see now down here, I've got a full frame step between where each next frame begins. And if I play that back, I'll now see they all beautifully appear one after the other. Much more fluid, much more interesting. So that's how to use the align options and the sequence layer options in After Effects.